Hey guys, so got a package in the mail today. Fixing to open it up. Wonder what's in the box. <laughs> This one's actually pretty decently heavy. It's solid metal hill on it. It's got a round cap on the end of the blade. Nice little polycarbonate. So, I don't know if this thing isn't set up the same way as my other ones are. Then screw the bottom and then pull out this piece where you put in some double A batteries. Got some double A batteries in this thing. Slide this back in place. Get it lined up. And put the, screw the cap on the bottom. So first impressions online, the hilt looked like cheap plastic, but this is really solid, heavy metallic hilt. Reminds me about the weight of one of those big mag flashlights. So this blade is got a clear polycarbonate around. Uh, a diffusing layer. So this one looks like it's a polycarbonate tube on the outside and then it has uh, a white diffusing polycarbonate tube on the inside or some other kind of plastic. Hi guys, going to discuss the pros and cons of this Hasbro Black Series Kylo Ren lightsaber. Now, number one pro on it is this heavily detailed metal hilt. It's real heavy duty, nice construction, a lot of attention to detail, but it is really heavy and when you ha handle it, 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 it's got some heft to it. My next pro is the light effects. I mean, can't beat it whenever the lights flicker, everything gives that full visual effects. Third pro to this is the sounds. Just listen to that. But one of the cons about it actually has to do with the lighting on the saber itself. Now if you watch, you follow the blade, you notice that there's a series of lights actually in the blade itself. Now that makes it a whole lot easier to keep the light evenly dispersed down the blade, but it impairs the, the integrity of the blade itself. 
because a lot of people they buy these lightsabers that have the polycarbonate blades what for the purpose of actually clashing together they, they actually have sword play but the drawback of having anything that has any type of wiring hooked up to it and a blade is one constant abuse like that guess what copper becomes brittle and it eventually breaks now go like the gentle go like this gently like that is not something that really damage it but if you actually get into real like sword play if you battle it out like me and my son do with the other lightsabers that we have i mean the the lighting in this thing would be toast and all these cool lighting effects would be completely kind of look kind of stupid if you got light running up half your blade <laughs> so that is one of the big drawbacks to it is actually having the lighting in the blade itself that's why so many of the lightsabers that actually have a light at the bottom that's in the housing itself of the hilt it protects the light and the electronics from the the amount of vibrations and the amount of impact that the actual blade has and that that keeps it from from being damaged as much the other last con that I have for this is the one that just irritates the snot out of me and I mean sitting here I'm having to unscrew this and take out AA batteries I mean there's much room that's in there and everything they could have easily gone to a rechargeable lithium-ion battery and had it where you had a little port on the side to charge it I mean it doesn't take too much to get something that is rechargeable and easy to replace whenever it goes bad and having as much attention to detail and as much work that's gone into it it, it won't have taken too much more engineering to get that set up in something like this now with having a lithium-ion battery in and, and that stuff this it would have raised the price and the value of this but if you're getting a rechargeable lithium ion battery in there I mean paying the extra like 40 bucks 50 bucks would be well worth it uh, I'm probably gonna end up putting some rechargeable lithium ion AA batteries in here that I can just charge after I take them out and just that's that's how it goes this this isn't gonna get used as much as the others so it's a really really nice but for what we really like to use use these for uh, it's not that great I mean when you got three kids and they enjoyed sword play um, a lightsaber just to hang up on the wall is not that that great of a play thing so this is more of something just more of just for fun if we're doing something any video shooting or something like that and we do something like slow motion or something this would be excellent or doing something in time lapse eh? or just being goofy I mean this would be really fun but really whenever just for fun I really don't think the price wise it would be really worth it so watching this video. If you like this video, then please press the like button. And if you like what you've been watching, uh, please hit the subscribe button. To see our latest video, click on the link to the right. Thank you again. Later, later.